Chapter 4, The Brass Plates Lehi told Nephi that the Lord wanted him and his brothers to go back to Jerusalem. They were to get the brass plates from a man named Laban. The brass plates were important records. They told about Lehi's forefathers and contained the words of God revealed through the prophets. Laban and Lemuel did not want to return to get the brass plates. They said it would be too hard to do. They did not have faith in the Lord. Nephi wanted to obey the Lord. He knew the Lord would help him and his brothers get the brass plates from Laban. Laman, Lemuel, Sam, and Nephi traveled back to Jerusalem to get the brass plates. Laman went to Laban and asked him for the plates. Laban was angry and would not give Laman the brass plates. Laban wanted to kill Laman, but Laman escaped. Laman told his brothers what had happened. He was afraid and wanted to give up and go back to their father in the wilderness. Nephi said they could not return without the brass plates. He told his brothers to have more faith in the Lord, and they would be able to get the brass plates. Nephi and his brothers went to their old home in Jerusalem and gathered their gold and silver to exchange for the plates. They showed Laban their riches and offered to trade them for the plates. When Laban saw their gold and silver, he wanted it for himself and threw them out. Laban told his men to kill Lehi's sons. Nephi and his brothers ran and hid in a cave. Laban kept their gold and silver. Laban and Lemuel were angry with Nephi. They beat Nephi and Sam with a stick. An angel appeared and told Laman and Lemuel to stop. He said the Lord would help them get the plates. He also said Nephi would become a leader over his brothers. Nephi told his brothers to have faith in the Lord and not be afraid of Laban and his men. Nephi encouraged his brothers to go back to Jerusalem. That night, Nephi's brothers hid outside the city wall while Nephi sneaked inside. He walked toward Laban's house. As Nephi got close to Laban's house, he saw a drunk man lying on the ground. It was Laban. Nephi saw Laban's sword and picked it up. The Holy Ghost told Nephi to kill Laban, but Nephi did not want to kill him. The Holy Ghost again told Nephi to kill Laban so Nephi could get the brass plates. Lehi's family needed the plates so they could learn the gospel. Nephi obeyed the Holy Ghost and killed Laban. Nephi then put on Laban's clothes and armor. Nephi went into Laban's house and was met by Zoram, Laban's servant. Nephi looked and sounded just like Laban. He told Zoram to get the brass plates. Zoram thought Nephi was Laban, so he gave him the plates. Nephi told Zoram to follow him. Laman, Lemuel, and Sam saw Nephi coming and were scared. They thought he was Laban. They started to run away, but stopped when Nephi called to them. Then Zoram realized that Nephi was not Laban, and he tried to run. Nephi caught Zoram and promised not to harm him if he would go with Nephi into the wilderness. Zoram agreed. Nephi and his brothers took Zoram and the brass plates and returned to Lehi and Sariah. They gave the brass plates to Lehi. He and Sariah were happy their sons were safe. They all rejoiced and thanked God. Lehi read the brass plates. They told about Adam and Eve and the creation of the world. They contained the words of many prophets. Lehi and Nephi were happy because they had obeyed the Lord and had been able to get the brass plates. Lehi's family packed the brass plates to take with them on their journey so they could teach their children the commandments recorded on the plates.